Hello there. Just want, I want to put together a quick, very brief uh, video to go along with the, the link that I'm going to send you to, to uh, that's going to give you a tutorial on the LCD screens. They actually are not too complicated as long as you follow the instructions on this page very closely. Um, so, let me jump right in. I'm going to make this brief, uh, so you may have to pause the video at some point to um, to make sure you're you're up to speed. So um, the link that I'm going to send you in this e in, in, the, in the email um, will take you to this page right here. I've got it in a tab, um, and it's a wiki space, and it goes over how to use the R specific uh, LCD screen. Uh, so th what you definitely want to do is when you get to this page, make sure you read everything. Um, because there's a few things that if you miss, you're going to end up not, you, you, your screen is not going to work, the LCD is not going to work. The first thing, the very first thing you, you cannot miss is, um, is you have to download the correct library. Uh, if you haven't done that, then you, you do that here. Um, it gives you a link to download the library. You may see a different screen here on your machine, but this is what I see. Um, and I just want to download the most recent zip file for the library um, that goes along with this specific LCD screen. Uh, I've already done it, but um, once you do that, um, if you haven't already uploaded a library to your Arduino, that's done from within the Arduino IDE. Um, so you just open that up and you go to, I believe it's Sketch, Import Library, Add Library, and it will probably be in your downloads. Um, so once you click on the zip file, it'll, you will see, if you've done it properly, you'll see down here a little message that says uh, something like um, library uploaded or new library added, uh, but it will definitely let you know if you've done it right. Okay, so assuming you've gone this far, uh, we would go back to um, this this page here, this wiki space. Um, the only other thing, really, to make sure you do is um, the the LCD screens that we have, the ones that we use, that that you have in the um, biomedical kit, is this one here, the LCD version one. Um, and you'll see this, um, you'll see this, uh, all of this writing on the, uh, let's see if I can find a picture. Yeah, right here. It, it'll, it'll tell you which one it is on the back of this, uh, shield. And so make sure you have the right one, and if it's the one we're using, which it should be, they should all be the same, it's this LCD version one. Click on that, uh, and that will give you the correct code. Um, you don't, it, I mean, you, you can either click on it or you can just scroll down to it because it's all within the same document. So it's just here, this I was here. I just basically you can scroll down to this uh, version one code or you can click on that link and it'll take you to the same place um, right there. So highlight all of this. Sometimes when you highlight in this wiki space, it highlights everything above what you highlight. Yep, so just like this. This this is another common problem. So you saw what I did. I only highlighted this code, but for some reason I highlighted everything above that. Um, you don't want to do that. So uh, just do it a couple times. Make sure you only get the code. Okay. So it's all there. Copy that. Control C, and then you go into your Arduino uh, IDE and just paste it in. Now, if you've if you've added the correct library, this should work, you know. And then obviously you're going to go and make sure you have the right board chosen. We've been using the Uno. You're going to want to make sure you have the right serial port selected. Um, and really, those are all the all of the things you need to make sure you have done to get this working correctly. If it doesn't, I'm happy to to 
to help, just you, you can always email just uh, jp at thesige.org, and I can answer any questions you have. So I hope that helps, and we will talk to you later.